Hi there, beautiful souls. This movie is about the Epstein-Barr virus and does it have a role in chronic fatigue syndrome. I got diagnosed by a doctor uh, to have Epstein-Barr virus uh, maybe as the root cause of chronic fatigue syndrome or not. And I did myself lots of detoxes to get rid of the virus. But in the end, I completely diminished this diagnosis. I ignored it, I let go of it, and I'll tell you a little bit about my process. And for the ones who are doubting the, the things that I talk about, because I do not really talk about Epstein-Barr virus in my YouTube channel, so there is like this question, should we follow you know, my path, or should we follow the Epstein-Barr virus detox community out there with lots of protocols? So I'll tell you a little bit about my personal process in dealing with the EBV virus. So a doctor diagnosed me and gave me uh, lots of protocols, lots of stuff. And then I took it for a while, but I hardly noticed any result. In the meantime, I also... Um, looked it up in Louise Hay's uh, You Can Heal Your Life book, where she was saying that the EBV virus is sort of a stress virus and it comes in your life when you're too stressed. So she, she was basically saying that it cannot live in a calm body. So that in mind, I already knew like I had to de-stress my life. I went on holidays and then I forgot my detox rituals. And what I noticed is that I felt so much better after doing things that I really want in life. And that my symptoms can come and go. So I started to diminish this. And do I really have to spend uh, hundreds or thousands of, of euros in my, in my continent on, on all this detox stuff when I didn't really notice any effect? Whereas de-stressing worked a lot for me. So eventually I shifted my focus to enjoying life and de-stressing, meaning eliminating stress and releasing old stress in my body. And the more I read about this stuff, then I think it was 2019 where I was pretty fit and I was really having an interest in viruses. I wanted to know everything about it. And at a certain point I encountered dramatic new medicine it's uh it's a theory real it's actually science but it's not published because uh, he cannot he couldn't publish it in his life because there was so much resistance to him so there was this researcher doctor called dr hammer and he made this really beautiful theory where you look where you're going to look different at disease and life uh, as a total everything suddenly shifted in my head and it really resonated with me. So what he basically tells you is that there is a conflict in your life. And well, he talks about almost every disease and he also has brain scans where he can uh, prove his theory. But in a very short summary, because I'm not an expert in this, he tells you there is a stress period or he calls it a conflict period. In this period, changes will happen in the body to be able to endure uh, the stress or the situation much better. And the longer this stress period lasts, the more changes come into your body and the more difficult it will be to eventually, uh, you know, make it all back to balance. Then at a certain point, we all, uh, well, most of the people that I encountered with and, and coached, had a stop in their in, in their stress period. So something happened, like a relationship got out, uh, stopped, like in my case, for example, and, and lots of other situations uh, ended. And I also think it was partly because I was able to, to learn and, and, and to, to really say no in my life to certain people and situations, like, for example, a stressful job. So there came a period where I was relatively at ease. But in that period, the stressors, the old stress came up and I was a bit restless. 
So he calls that the incubation period and that it is almost there for almost every situation or disease in life. And after the incubation period comes the healing phase where the body is trying to go back to normal. And in some diseases you get more lung capacity in a stressful, fearful period. And then afterwards, after the incubation time, the healing phase comes and the body makes sort of sort of RNA to uh, get back to normal, get back to homeostasis. And in that period, we experience what we call disease, but he calls it a healing phase. And he says that viruses, if they exist, that's what he always says. And he talks about certain viruses that he is not really sure whether they cause disease. He's saying, uh, I don't think they are infectious and that they are probably created in the body to, you know, get rid of, for example, in the lungs, uh, the excessive uh, lung capacity. So the RNA is sort of cleaning the body. And he looks at almost every virus that way. And yeah, I know this is this is sort of uh, mind blowing. But um, yeah. I mean, that changes everything, right? So I started looking into this. And then I started looking into the Spanish flu that had the thing with the lungs be after the, the First World War. Very dangerous, stressful time for most people. So that it, you know, it happened uh, after that. And of course, Dr. Burke says that the, the, there was a lack of, uh, of hygiene in that time. So, you know, it could also be, it's just a theory. And But, but I, for me, when I was in meditation, it really resonated. And I really felt that way. That life wasn't that mean, that there are all these viruses everywhere to kill us. Then Stefan Lanka, he was also into this. Do viruses really exist? And he is saying that, well, he is actually improving that most viruses do not really, uh, have not really been isolated, you know, like um, without anything else, just isolated the, the, the virus or the RNA and uh, also been proven to cause diseases and in, in being infectious. So therefore he is one quite a lot of trials, and he lost as well a lot of trials, where the judge was not really uh, looking into this very deeply. But there is sort of a reward for viruses if you can prove them. So, you know, that, so that changes everything for me. And suddenly I was in the situation where I was completely trusting the process in my body. And I knew that I had been very stressful. And I knew that there had been an incubation period. And I knew that Epstein-Barr virus was related to stress. And I wasn't stressed all the time. So maybe Epstein-Barr virus was actually a good thing. So that's how I looked at it. So I completely trusted it. And that's the way I look at it right now. So just my strategy doesn't involve detoxing from, from the EBV. But it involves detoxing from stress. So if you'd like to know more about this, then you know, check out his work from Dr. Hammer, uh, The Germ Germanic New Medicine, and his five biological laws. And you can look up all kinds of diseases and see if people in your environment has them or if the situation before uh, was like that as well. And I mean, he's, he's, not, all, he's not saying that every disease is a healing phase where you can heal from because sometimes when the, the stress period or the conflict period was so long the healing phase can be overwhelming and too much for the body so he doesn't say that there aren't any diseases or something but it's just a theory that you can use and i use it uh, as well alongside tms where you talk about uh, where they talk about unconscious emotions that you're trying to avoid uh, gabor mate with his theory that uh, personalities create certain diseases. So that's a little bit of how I look uh, at disease and, and use this, all these holistic methods. And it doesn't mean that there, that there aren't any people poisoned or toxic poisoning or something. That could always happen. And that could also cause a damage in the body and cause a different type of healing phase, what we call a disease. And... 
his work is pretty scientific and the way that he explains and can predict uh, um, healing phases in people's life is, is quite amazing. So it's my recommendation to check it out and I hope that this controversial movie can actually give you some some peace and some trust in your body and as well some trust in the process and some some faith in my work as well. It doesn't mean that I believe 100% in it, but you know, it's a tool. <laughs> okay, well, it's quite a it's quite a heavy movie. If you enjoy this this content, then please subscribe, share it among others who are suffering. And uh, I wish you all a very beautiful day. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. Visit my website. Uh, you can make a donation there. You can also follow uh, a free recovery program that is completely based on donations for me and where I will give you lots of tools and a step-by-step -step plan to deal with your fatigue and to improve. It's called the Alignment Recovery Program. Maybe it is something for you. Just check it out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.